Hi again, this is Jeff, your protopie expert answering your protopie questions. Today's question comes from Wan. Wan asks, I want to make a prototype to control a TV interface with my phone. I'm really excited to show you how to do this because this is one of Protopie's killer features. We're gonna be using send and receive through Protopie Studio to send a message from one Pi and have it be received in another. Essentially, we can have a remote control Pi on our phone that controls uh, a TV prototype on our desktop. Now, I have two Pies open. I'm using Protopie's new version six, by the way, which gives us this tabbed interface. And I have two Pies here. One is the TV prototype. The other is the remote control. The TV prototype is actually this, uh, this tutorial that you can find on Protopie's website. I'll leave a link in the description below so that way you can build this on your own. I'm not gonna go through how this works, but I will demo it really quickly. So if we open this up on here, this is supposed to be a TV interface that you can navigate left and right, and it responds to the keyboard arrow keys left and right. So if I press the right button on my keyboard, it navigates to the right, and if I press the left button, it navigates to the left. In my second Pi, and this is going to be the one that's running on my phone, will be this remote control interface. Uh, it's not going to win any design awards, but this is for demonstration purposes. And what I have, what I've done here is I actually have this running through Protopie Player on my phone, and I'm using QuickTime over here to mirror my phone. So what you see over here is exactly me interacting with the phone interface as opposed to clicking on the preview for this. There are two parts we're going to do. In our remote control, we're gonna have send messages. And in our TV interface, we're gonna receive those messages. So let's start with setting up our sends. Now I have these pink regions over here, and these are gonna be the tap regions. If I turn this off, the remote control is just an image underneath. These are not individual pieces on here. So what I've done is I've made these shapes overlaid over top, and these are gonna be the things that you actually tap on here. But I don't wanna see these pink regions. I want them to be invisible. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select them all, and you might think what I should do is set the opacity to zero. But if I do that, then that makes them uh, inactive. Essentially, you can't use them at all. Protopie doesn't even know that they're there. So you can't add tap triggers or you can't interact with them at all. So instead of setting opacity to zero, I'm going to set the fill or I'm going to remove the fill on those. So if I just check that, now the fill is gone. The opacity is still 100%. So they are uh, completely visible as far as protopie is concerned, but visually you can't see them. Let's add tap triggers. Let's add a tap trigger to the right region. So I'm gonna add a trigger at tap and it is on right. And let's name this. So I'm just gonna tap right. And I want to send a message here. So I'm gonna use the send response. And the critical thing over here is the channel I select. We've talked about send and receive within, um, you know, within the Pi before, and we've used these two at the top, but we haven't used this one down here, Protopie Studio. And by choosing this channel, this is what allows one Pi to talk to another. So let's choose Protopie Studio, and I will call this message RC, short for remote control, underscore right. So remote control right. Now let's switch over to our TV prototype, uh, prototype and set up the receive for that message. So I'm gonna add a trigger and this will be the receive trigger. And I want to receive that RC write message and it has to be from the same channel, that's Protopie Studio. And I will type in RC underscore write. And what I want to happen is when I receive that message, I want it to execute the exact same logic that the right creep, uh, key press does. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the condition and the response underneath. I'm gonna do Command C or Control C on Windows and I'm gonna paste it in my receive over here. And let's rename this so it's RC right. So we know what we're looking at. And essentially this means that if I press the right button on my keyboard, or if the Pi receives the RC write message through Protopie Studio, then it's going to run the same logic of navigating to the right. So let's try running that. Let's go back here and I'm gonna hit the run button. So that way now my phone now has the most up-to-date version running on here. We'll go over to the TV prototype. Let's preview that. And let's make this a little bit smaller so we can see the prototype and my phone at the same time. And now, if you don't believe me, I am holding my phone in my hand here and I am going to tap right. And you see that the prototype is responding to that tap right.
and I've gotten all the way to the end and there's nowhere else to go and we haven't set up left yet. So if I tap left, it's not navigating to the left. Let's set that up. So we'll go back to our remote control prototype and I'm gonna add another trigger here. This will be a tap trigger and this will be on the left region. So I will pick this left here and let's rename this. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to send a message through Protopi Studio, and this one will be RC underscore left. And we'll go back to our Protopi, uh, our TV interface over here, and I will add the receive for this. So we'll add, we'll add a receive trigger, and this will receive from Protopi Studio, RC underscore left. And let's rename this over here so that way we know what's going on. And once again, I'm going to copy the, the same logic that's in my press, my left key press here. Command C or Control C on Windows. And we're going to paste it here. Now, when I run this, let's run this again. And we'll go back to the TV prototype here. We'll preview this. I should now be able to navigate left and right. So once again, on my phone, I'm going to tap right and I'm going to tap left. Right, 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 left, left, left. Awesome. All right. Now, the cool thing about this is I've got a prototype running on my phone, and this could mimic a physical remote control, or this could be a prototype for an actual phone-based interface. And using a phone-based interface gives us extra things that a physical remote control doesn't have. So, for example, we can add swipe controls on this. So let's set this up so that way we can also swipe left and right and navigate this prototype. Let's do that. We'll go back to our remote control prototype here. And I had this uh, layer, I've had it turned off, but if I turn it on, you're going to see I have these, I've got horizontal and vertical regions that I will use for the swipe on here. And same thing, I'm going to make them invisible. So let's copy the, or select them both, turn off their fill. And on the left, right swipe region, I'm going to add a trigger. I'm going to add a fling trigger here. And fling is the same as swipe in Protopie. And what I'd like to do on the left, right swipe region, and I have to pick the direction. So I'm going to pick the first one, which is swiping to the right. I would like to send the same message as when I tap the right button here. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And let's set up the swipe left in the same way. So I'm going to add another fling trigger. This one will be on the left, right swipe region. And I will pick the second direction now because I want swiping to the left. And I'm going to copy the left send command and we'll paste that in there. Uh, and that should be exactly everything we need to do because this is sending the same message over here and we already have the receive set up in our TV prototype over here to receive RC left and RC right. Uh, so if everything went well, this should work as is. So let's run this again. So now my phone has the most up-to-date. We will preview this here and I'll make this smaller again. And now let's see what happens when I swipe. Okay, so I'm swiping, but the navigation is not working. Let's see if I swipe left. Now, why is that? Let's go take a look at our remote control prototype here. You can see my layers over here. I've got the touch regions layered on top of the swipe regions. And what's going on here is the touch region is actually capturing the swipe and it's not allowing it to pass through to the swipe regions below. So we need to make a small tweak to the touch regions group. And over here on the bottom right, I'm going to check this make lower layers touchable. I'm going to do that. And that will allow the events to pass through to stuff that's underneath. So now let's run this on my phone and we'll go back to the TV prototype. We'll run that on the desktop. And now, hopefully, swipe works. So let's try that. We're going to swipe. And look at that. It is Our swipe navigation is now working. And tap should still work. It certainly does. And there you go. And that really was easy as pie. And I'm going to bet that you didn't think it was going to be that easy to do this. But it really is that simple. If you've run into a snag with one of your pies and you'd like to ask us for help, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.